In tech segment tonight, President Obama's soft approach to the Muslim world, will that help America? You may remember back in 2005, President Bush kissed Crown Prince Abdullah of Saudi Arabia and then held his hand. I thought it was Paul and Paula, remember them? Uh, while greeting him in Crawford, Texas. While President Obama didn't kiss the guy, he did seem to bow. Look at that. But the White House says, no, 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 no. He wasn't bowing. He was just double handshaking to a smaller guy. You saw it, you make the call. A lot of Americans very angry about this. Joining us now to discuss it is from Denver, Asma Hassan, author of the book Red, White, and Muslim, My Story of Belief. And from Virginia Beach, Brigitte Gabriel, author of the book They Must Be Stopped, Why Must We Must Defeat Radical Islam and How We Can Do It. All right, Ms. Gabriel, we're going to begin with you. Um, Thank you. I'm not going to quibble over the bow. I wasn't there. The White House says it wasn't a bow. But what is clear to everyone is that President Obama was soft, almost subservient to the Muslim world. He wants them to like us. Will that strategy work, madam? No, that strategy will not work. And he did bow to the Muslim king while he did not do it to the British Queen of England. And by bowing, he showed the world that I am subservient. I do owe, uh, bow down to you as a Muslim king, something no other uh, president has done with Saudi Arabia. The Saudi king is his peer. He is not his subordinate in order to bow for him. And this is exactly what Obama did. Usually it is out of respect that someone would nod his head when bowing to royal royalty and the ladies will give curtsy but Obama went beyond what is required as a head of state and bowed to the Saudi king and that's unacceptable right, why, it sent the wrong symbol what when you say it's saying it sends the wrong signal what signal do you think it sent it sent a message that Islam is superior to any other master or king or president in the world. That an American president bound to a Muslim king. It also sent a message that terrorism and jihadism is giving Islam the respect it, it should have on the world stage to the point that it made an American president for the first time in history bow to a Muslim king, something he did not wow. do a few days ago in England. That's a pretty militant view. Do you share it, Ms. Hassan? Well, I don't think it was it was that extreme of a case. I I myself was more irritated. I don't feel that this man who this king who wouldn't look me in the eye or shake my hand because I'm a woman and his interpretation of Islam forbids that. I was annoyed that our president was giving him such deference. It did bother me, but I know that some Muslims did appreciate it, thought it was very respectful, but I was similarly annoyed when President Bush held this same man's hand and was so affectionate with him. Okay. I, I, well, I don't know why our presidents are so gaga Well, over I, I know why. They're not gaga. Well, but, I know I mean, why, too. Well, there are two, yeah, there are two reasons. Number one, uh, we need Saudi Arabia's oil, and certainly uh, we, um, we want the Muslim world to calm down. All right, we want them not to hate us. So th those are the two reasons. Now, and Mrs. that's a worthy goal. Uh, all right, but the question is, by President Obama's conciliatory attitude, is that mm -hmm. going to accomplish what the United States wants, which is a de-intensifying of the hatred, in your opinion? Yes, I think it will. However, I don't think bowing to anybody will accomplish that. Okay, but remember but I think the, the White speech House that Obama gave in, he didn't bow. in Turkey. All right. Or okay, well, whatever he was doing, he I don't think that bow. necessarily accomplishes all right, all right, that look, because look. I wasn't there. Muslim, I'm giving both sides of the story. If it were me, I wouldn't hold his hand. I wouldn't smooch him. I wouldn't bow. <laughs> I'd say, "Hey, how you doing, King?" How's things going over but there? Can we help you? I'm out? sure he he wants to smooch you because you know everybody wants to smooch you, Bill. So well, um, no. I'm sure <laughs> he's not getting the, the Middle chance. East operates. But now, Miss Gabriel, but, but let me let me whoa, 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 let me finish whoa, 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 though. Let me calm down now, Miss Gabriel. You're very <laughs> militant on condemning Obama, okay? And and that's your point of view, and we respect it. I don't and I, no, I don't no, agree I, I don't say, agree I don't agree with it, but I I respect it. But let me ask you about Bush. President Bush was a hard guy toward the Islamic world. He punished Al-Qaeda and he didn't take any garbage from anybody. He kissed the guy and held his hand. Is that in the same league? 
And no, that didn't get us anywhere either. Listen, Bill, I think Obama did a great job in, in presenting himself to the Arabic world and the Muslim world. He really did say things that were very good and reached out to the moderate Muslims in the Arabic world. I just think he went overboard with his gesture with the king. All right. He did much better uh, than I President said, I would Bush. not have done that. There were, I'm six foot four. King Abdullah could be five three. I'm not bending down. I'm sticking my hand out. That's he can reach right. up. He wants to shake my hand. He can go like this. Because I he agree, didn't bend I down agree to with the queen. you. Look, look, there's a way to be diplomatic, and Teddy Roosevelt That's said right. it best. You speak softly, and you carry a big stick. You don't exactly. kiss people and, and smooch them up and bow to them. That ain't going to get you any place. It gets you short term. It'll get you short term. I agree with, with that. But long term, they've got to respect you. And, they gotta th and I think the point that you made, Mr. Hassan, that mm -hmm. the Muslim world may think they're winning because of terrorism, that we're a little coward. I think that's a good point. But it's a real balancing act because you, you can't go over to the Muslim world, you can't go to Turkey, who we need. We need that country. And be strutting mm -hmm. around like, you better do it our way, you guys, because that, that's going to hurt Americans. Well, what Obama said in Turkey in his speech is things that I wanted to hear as a Muslim from an American president. So I think it, it is good to reach out to moderate Muslims. And no, Rashid it is. And it I is. Agree it's just how you that. do it. Ladies, thanks very much. Very interesting discussion.